Hello everyone, I'm Dong from Shanghai Jiaotong University. Today, I would like to introduce our work, Service Computing on Heterogeneous Computers. Service is also called Function as a Service, in which a function becomes a new computation unit. Usually, a developer will update his functions to a search platform, mostly in source code. When platform is ready, an end user can invoke the function by sending requests to the platform. Different from previous cloud, the search platform will only boot the function when requests arrive. Attracted by the benefits of serverless, most of existing cloud vendors have supported service computing. However, a significant limitation of the existing service platform is that it can only support CPU functions. Although there are many kinds of heterogeneous devices, existing search platforms still cannot utilize these devices, which leads to several challenges. First, search platforms cannot utilize domain-specific devices like FPG and GPU. This makes applications like machine learning hard to run on search platforms as they rely on accelerators for good performance. Besides, Search platforms cannot utilize general-purpose devices like DPU and SmartNICs. As a result, it is hard for platforms to achieve higher function density and better energy efficiency because they can only utilize CPU to run functions. This work proposes the heterogeneous service computing that enables heterogeneous devices for functions. I will explain how it can be used by end users first. The goal of this work is to propose the first heterogeneous service system, which allows a search platform to manage functions on heterogeneous computers with a similar abstraction. In this work, we consider CPU with different IC, FEG, and DPU as the heterogeneous devices. Search functions should be able to run on any of these devices. Normally, serverless allows an end user to write functions in some required languages and upload these functions to platforms. Also, end users can connect different functions into a function chain or a DAG to implement application logics. Platforms are responsible for all others. The heterogeneous service should follow the principle. Specifically, it should allow end users to write functions not only for CPU but also heterogeneous devices like GPU. Users should be able to connect functions on different devices. We show two cases for writing Python functions running on CPU and OpenCL functions running on FEG here. Clearly, this program model is simple and familiar to end users to utilize heterogeneous devices with serverless. We also assume that heterogeneous serverless platforms will chain functions using user-provided configuration file. As shown in the figure, we can connect different CPU functions and also functions written for devices into the same chain. Let's see the overall workflow. For heterogeneous service platform, developers can write and upload functions for any devices supported by the platform, including CPU, FPG, and DPU. These functions will be compiled into binary container image or FPG image. When a user invoke a function, the platform will find the function and schedule the instance into a corresponding device like CPU or FPG. Heterogeneous service enables several benefits. Here we highlight two points. First, it achieves better performance for serverless applications, which can be optimized with accelerators like FPG and GPU. Besides, Search platforms achieve significantly higher function density by deploying DPU in the server. Designing and implementing a service runtime on heterogeneous computers are challenging. First, heterogeneous computers are naturally multi-PU and multi-OS systems. That means the service runtime should handle the distribution even in a single computer. Besides, accelerators usually require low-level abstractions for good performance but serverless needs high-level abstractions. How to abstract away the hardware heterogeneity is another challenge. In this work, we overcome the two challenges by proposing abstractions for heterogeneous serverless. Besides, 
we propose molecule, the first search runtime for heterogeneous computers. Now I will explain the obstructions first. In this work, we propose two obstructions, execute scheme and the vectorized sandbox, to overcome the distribution and heterogeneity challenges of heterogeneous computers. XPU scheme is distributed upon existing OSs for all firmwares at each PUs and provides a unified obstruction for applications to utilize heterogeneous resources and communicate with each other. Besides, vectorized sandbox is a generic sandbox obstruction for heterogeneous devices, which can enable better scalability than existing sandbox obstructions. The first challenge we should consider is the distribution and multi-OS setting. One way to mitigate the multi-OS setting is treating heterogeneous devices as smart devices and explicitly offload tasks to the devices. However, dynamically offloading a task may incur large costs. In some cases, it will make things worse compared with normal computers. Another approach is treating smart devices as standalone machines However, this approach cannot utilize some hardware features, for example, the RDMA or DMA-based interconnects, and it will also introduce duplicated status on a single machine. Last, it will even, even turn to more complexity to a global cost manager, as the manager needs to consider more machines. In this work, we treat a heterogeneous computer as a single node, but with multiple OSs. Therefore, a service runtime needs to run on a multi-OS setting. We propose execution, which is a sim layer between applications and the underlying multi-OSs. From applications view, execution is like a global OS, which provides cross-PU OS functionalities like inter-process communication. Following the design of microkernels, which includes capability, IPC, and other Interfaces like Spawn, XPUSIM provide distributed capabilities, neighbor IPC, and uh, interfaces like XSpawn. Applications on different PUs can cooperate through XPUSIM as they are on the same PU. First, the distributed capability in XPUSIM is used for managing global resources and status. For example, the cap group is an object recording all capabilities of a process. It also includes an ID which is globally unique and can be used to identify a process in multi-OS settings. Another case is CAP IPC, which is a cross-PU IPC object. Processes can use CAP IPC to communicate with processes on different PUs only when they have sufficient capabilities. Besides, the mechanism allows cross-PU communication is called neighbor IPC. Unlike IPC used in a single PU and the network used between different machines, neighbor IPC is between PUs in a single node. Currently, we support DMA and RDMA-based interconnect for neighbor IPC. The XPU sim provides the XPU FIFO obstructions for applications to use, which will automatically choose IPC, neighbor IPC, and remote IPC for different cases. Here, we present the big table for interfaces supported by XPU sim. Please refer the paper for more details. The second challenge we aim to solve is the obstruction for heterogeneous hardware. Sandbox obstruction is widely used in existing service runtimes like Run C, which is a good case with only simple and necessary interfaces. However, the obstruction is insufficient for heterogeneity as it only allows executing one function at the same time, even though heterogeneous devices support more parallel sandboxes. This paper proposes an extension to existing sandbox obstruction called Vectorized Sandbox. The basic idea is that we allow managing a vector of functions at the same time instead of a single function in the obstruction layer. This significantly enables better scalability and more optimization opportunities for platforms. Notably, vector sandbox is compatible with existing interfaces when the vector length is 1. The full interfaces of vector sandbox can be referred in the paper. 
Now I will introduce molecule, the heterogeneous series runtime. Molecule serves series requests from the global manager. It can run on any PU in a heterogeneous computer and manage functions in other PUs with XPU scheme. Molecule will launch extruders on other PUs through XPhone, which are responsible for managing local function instances using the vector sandbox obstruction. The executor receives commands from Molecule, executes the commands on the local OS, and returns the results. For accelerators like FEG that cannot launch a generic program, we start a virtual execution instance on the neighbor CPU or DPU. This instance is responsible for running the corresponding executor and managing the accelerator. Molecule is carefully designed to optimize the startup and communication latency on heterogeneous computers. Startup latency is a significant challenge for service computing. Molecule proposes container fork, which is based on the idea of Catalyzer to forking a container-based sandbox. As far as we know, it is the first fork-based startup design for container-based sandbox and can support multi-threaded languages. Similar as Catalyzer, C-Fork requires a template container to generate new instances. To support multi-threaded instances, we modify the runtime to merge multi-threaded contexts into memory and then fork the single-threaded instance and span to multi-threaded contexts after forking. We still need to migrate the forked processes to a new container called the function container to hold the C-group-based resource isolation requirement. Moreover, c fork is ca capable to support heterogeneous computers. It utilizes NIPC to issue the fork command to templates on different PUs. Therefore, it is capable of forking instances on remote PUs. Molecule also optimizes the start latency for FPGA-based functions. The main idea is to utilize vector sandbox to catch possible invoked instances in a single FPGA image. Therefore, when the request for the catched instance arrives, the catched instance can handle the request directly without a code board. There are more techniques in Molecule, for example, the IPC-based DAG. Please refer the paper for more details. Last, we we'll introduce the evaluation of Molecule. In the evaluation, we we'll use two settings. For CPU and DPU heterogeneous computers, we use one server with Intel Xeon CPU, which is connected with two Monolux Bluefield 1 DPUs. Each DPU has 16 ARM cores. We also tested Bluefield 2 DPU in our evaluation. Besides, we use AWS F1 instance, which is equipped with AutoScale plus FEG as our CPU FEG heterogeneous computers. We use search bench, function bench, and FEG applications supported from AWS demos as the workloads. We choose the homogeneous version of Molecule as the baseline in most cases. Our results show that even the homogeneous version of Molecule is faster than commercial systems. In the evaluation, we aim to answer the following questions. We will focus on the three questions in this talk. Can Molecule achieve low startup latency for service on heterogeneous computers? Can Molecule achieve low communication latency for service on heterogeneous computers? And how does Molecule reduce the end to end latency of service applications? First, we compare the startup latency with baseline CFOC in a single PU and CFOC in a cross PU setting in CPU and DPU. We choose Python and Node.js applications for the test. As a result, c achieves 3 to 5 times lower latency for Python and Node.js functions on CPU and DPU. In best case, c can achieve 8.4 millisecond startup latency. Because of the good performance of a neighbor IPC, remote c only incurs minor cost, about 1 to 3 milliseconds. We also break down the optimization on FEG startup and the results show that we can achieve orders of magnitudes lower start latency for FG functions compared with the baseline. To evaluate the communication latency, we use the Alexa service application from Service Bunch and measure the latency between each two functions in Alexa. The baseline system is molecule using the Node.js Express, 
which is also used in other platforms like OpenWays. As a result, molecules can achieve 10 to 18 times lower communication latency in CPU, DPU, and CrossPU cases. Next, we present the end-to-end -end benchmarks to evaluate molecule. We use applications from search branch and function branch to evaluate the single function application first. As shown in figure A and C, molecule outperforms the baseline in all cases and achieves up to 11 times less latency. We also compared the latency between DPU1 and DPU2, and the results show that DPU functions can achieve 3 to 4 times better latency in Bluefield 2. In the case of Wormboot, Molecule and the baseline system achieve almost the same results in most cases, as shown in figure B. To evaluate the end-to-end -end latency of the chain function, we use the Alexa from search branch and the MapReduce from function branch. All the instances are pre-booted to lower startup overheads. As a result, Molecule can achieve two times less latency in Alexa and three to four times less latency in MapReduce. Last, we choose three FEGA functions and compared with the CPU version. As shown in the figure, FEGA optimized functions can achieve up to 34 times better latency. To conclude the talk, we propose the molecule, the first heterogeneous service runtime on heterogeneous computers. We have defined the program models and abstractions for heterogeneous service and proposed techniques like SafeWork to optimize system performance. Thanks for your attention.